Hi everyone. Welcome to another video of Food and Beverage Club. And today let's talk about different types of crockeries used in food and beverage industry. Before that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. First, let's try to understand what is crockery. Crockeries are the tableware used during the meal time for eating, serving food, or holding condiments. It is also known as dishware. Crockeries can be made from various materials, like porcelain crockeries, which is made by heating kaolin feldspar and quartz at high temperature they are generally highly durable in nature then we have bone china bone china is a mix of porcelain clay and bone ash it is generally very expensive and durable and are used by top class hotels next we have stone wares which are made of silicious paste fired at high temperature they are quite heavy in weight then we have melamine it is made up of strong and light thermosetting plastics they are highly durable and resistant to scratch other materials used in making crockery are earthenware but they are less durable Terracotta, Spanish style crockery, but they react with acidic food, imparting a sweet taste to the dish. Vitrified glasses are the glasses fired at high temperature to make them more durable. And then metallic crockery, like crockery is made up of EPNS or stainless steel. Now, let's try to remember different crockery. The first is side plate. It is of 6 inch in diameter and is also known as BNB plate or quarter plate. BNB stands for bread and butter. Then we have starter plate. It is 8 inches in diameter and also known as half plate or dessert plate as it is used to serve desserts as well. Then we have dinner plate which is 10 inches in diameter and is used to serve main course. It is also known as joint plate, main course plate or full plate. Next we have pasta plate which is around 10 inches in diameter and 1.5 inches in depth. It is used to serve pastas. Also it is used to serve thick soups. So it is also known as soup plate. Then we have soup bowls. We also have special bowl for consomme soups called consomme cup which comes with a handle. Both of these bowls have around 250 ml of capacity. Then we have cereal bowl. The larger version of soup bowls used to serve cereals. Then we have dip bowls to serve chutneys, condiments like vinegar, dips like hummus, butter dish, sugar caddy to serve sugar. Generally, a sugar caddy has six white sugar, four brown sugar and 4 low calorie sugars like Splenda but this number varies organization to organization depending on their recipe. Tea cups and saucers generally has a capacity of 200 ml and is also known as TAS. Coffee cup with a capacity of 100 ml and is also known as Demita. During breakfast, coffee is served in larger mugs 
called as coffee mug with a capacity of around 280 ml. Espresso or macchiatos are served in espresso cup with a capacity of 60 ml. Next, we have teapots, creamer, cruet set, that is, set of salt and pepper cellars. Generally, pepper cellar has three holes while salt cellar has one hole. However, the number of holes varies culture to culture. Like in US, where excessive salt is considered to be unhealthy, has got fewer holes in their salt cellar but in Europe where pepper is a rare spice this thing is reversed then we have a ramekin mold a mold which is used to serve dishes like creme brulee or molten chocolate next we have egg cups to serve boiled eggs 